Varroa mite populations can grow rapidly, so you should sample at least four times a year. Sampling is most critical following population peak and during the population decrease phase. Be sure to sample again after completing each treatment to make sure that the treatment you selected was effective. This video will show you two sampling methods step by step, the powdered sugar shake method and the alcohol or soap wash method. Both methods remove mites from the bodies of adult bees, so you can determine the number of mites per 100 adult bees. This is the infestation percentage. If you have fewer than 10 colonies, sample all colonies each time you sample. For larger apiaries, sample 8 randomly selected colonies. If you have multiple apiaries, randomly select 3 to 5% of your total colonies to sample. For both sampling methods, you will need a wide mouth jar marked with a line indicating one half cup, a solid lid, a lid with number eight screen mesh, and a white plate or container. Some beekeeping supply companies sell sampling kits with all the equipment you will need. The only safety equipment you'll need is standard beekeeping protective gear. For the powdered sugar shake method, you will also need powdered sugar, and a spray mister filled with water. For the alcohol or soap wash method, you will need alcohol, such as ethanol, ethyl alcohol, isopropyl, or rubbing alcohol, or low sudsing liquid soap, such as automotive windshield washer fluid. For both methods, the first step is to collect the bee sample. To sample a hive, open it and select a brood frame. Look for the queen. If she's present, move her to another frame or set the frame with queen aside. You'll need a sample of about 300 bees. This is a half cup of lightly packed bees. Collect the sample by tilting the frame slightly and moving the jar downward over the adult bees so they fall into the jar. Or shake bees from two or three brood frames into a larger collecting container. Then scoop a half cup of bees and dump them into the jar. For the powdered sugar shake method, add approximately two tablespoons of powdered sugar to the jar. Then roll and shake it for at least one minute to thoroughly coat the bees with sugar. For consistent results, shake each sample for the same length of time. Set the jar down and wait three to five minutes. This allows the sample to heat up, which, along with the sugar dusting, dislodges mites from the bodies of the bees. Next, shake the jar like a salt shaker onto the white plate or container. You can repeat the process to improve or verify the accuracy of your count. Add another tablespoon of sugar, shake again for one minute or more, wait another three to five minutes, and shake the mites onto the same plate or container as the original sample. High humidity may cause sugar clumping, which can cause some mites to stick in sugar coating at the bottom, reducing the accuracy of the count. Spray the collecting tray with water to dissolve the powdered sugar. Following this, you can return the sampled bees to the hive. This method does not harm them. For the alcohol or soap wash method, take the sample jar away from the colony. Using alcohol around a hot smoker can be dangerous. Add enough alcohol or soap to completely cover the bee sample. Close the jar and shake it vigorously for at least one minute. Shaking the liquid dislodges the mites from the bodies of the bees. For consistent results, shake each sample for the same length of time. With a two-jar sampling device, vigorously wash the bees, drain the liquid through the sample, and count mites. If using a single jar, Shake the bees, then pour the liquid containing the mites onto a white plate or tray. Or 
pour liquid and bees through any filter that separates the bees and mites. The white tray allows you to see and count the mites. Repeat the wash to confirm or improve the accuracy of your count. Add more alcohol or soap to the jar and shake again for the same length of time. This method kills the bees sampled. To preserve the bees, use the powdered sugar shake method. With both methods, count the total number of mites removed from the sample. Divide that number by 300 or by the actual number of bees in the sample if you counted them. This yields the mite level as a decimal. Convert the decimal to a percentage. For example, a sample contains 12 mites. Divide by 300 bees to yield 0.04. Convert that to a percentage, which is a mite level of 4%. To improve the accuracy of your sampling, count the actual number of bees in each sample. As you gain experience, your sample sizes will become more consistently close to 300 bees. The mite levels found in sampling may indicate that further controls are not needed at this time, controls may be needed, or controls are needed now. In general, mite levels below 2% indicate that controls are not needed immediately. Levels above 3% indicate that controls should be applied. Specific thresholds vary according to the colony's developmental phase. See the Tools for Varroa Management Guide for more detailed information on how to interpret your sampling results. Other videos in this series demonstrate how and when to use different Varroa controls. As part of an integrated pest management program, both the powdered sugar shake and alcohol or soap wash sampling methods can give you an accurate picture of varroa mite levels in your colonies. Remember to sample at least four times a year, especially from July through October. Sample again within one week after completing control treatments and use the sampling technique consistently. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.